Tonight, Marilyn Mosby has yet to decide whether or not she'll take the stand in her own defense as the prosecution in her perjury trial rested its case a little bit earlier today. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, he's been on this story from the start, live at the federal courthouse in Greenbelt tonight with the very latest on what is certainly a fast paced trial, Mike. And Rick, it's moving so fast, the jury could potentially get this case tomorrow. Mosby has until court resumes in the morning to decide whether she will take the stand in her own defense, and then we'll have closing arguments, jury instructions, and deliberations. Here's a look at how we got there. These are some of Marilyn Mosby's detailed financial records. They're at the heart of the government's perjury case against her, just made public by the court. They include deductions she took for her mahogany elite travel business, including several trips, and texts with a realtor saying she's hoping to capitalize on the uncertainty of the market right now to buy a second home. The prosecution rested after calling just three witnesses, including a forensic accountant with the FBI who dug through Mosby's finances. The government alleges Mosby lied when she said her travel business was hurt by the COVID pandemic, checking this box under penalty of perjury to improperly take withdrawals from her retirement account to buy vacation homes. Doug Colbert, a University of Maryland law professor, has been watching the trial closely. It's like a pieces of a puzzle. You want to wait till all the pieces are there and then see how well uh, the case holds up. Only WJZ was there as Mosby entered court Tuesday. Good morning, Ms. Mosby. Good morning. Remaining upbeat, she maintains her innocence. Mosby's defense called witnesses, including downtown partnership president Shalonda Stokes, who said she talked about starting a travel business with Mosby after a trip to Jamaica. The idea was to monetize the experience we felt. We wanted to create something that was for women like us, Stokes told jurors, later adding, when we came home, she started the business without me. The jury also heard from Zai Richardson, Mosby's former communication director who said she advised her not to operate mahogany elite while in office calling it bad politics the big question will Mosby herself testify the defense is always looking for reasonable doubt and if they believe they have sufficient reasonable doubt um, there's not going to be any need uh, for Miss Mosby to testify but of course that's Miss Mosby's decision now, prosecutors warned in open court today that if she takes the stand, they will ask Mosby about some thorny issues, including her tax deductions and a past civil contempt finding. Uh, it could be a minefield for her, and the stakes are very high. We'll continue to update you. We're live in Greenbelt. Mike Helgren, WJZ.